Tulsi Gabbard's endorsement of Donald Trump is expected to strongly resonate with a public that values national security, peace, and decisive leadership. Her message particularly appeals to independents and those disillusioned with the current administration's foreign policy. So I mean what I say when I share with you that I know that President Trump understands the grave responsibility that a president and commander in chief bears for every single one of our lives. Whether you're a soldier, you're an airman, a marine, sailor, or a coastie, he keeps us in his heart in the decisions that he makes. We saw this through his first term in the presidency when he not only didn't start any new wars, he took action to de-escalate and prevent wars. He exercised the courage that we expect from our commander in chief in exhausting all measures of diplomacy, having the courage to meet with adversaries, dictators, allies, and partners alike in the pursuit of peace, seeing war as a last resort. The truth is, as we head towards our decision as a country in November, the same cannot be said about Kamala Harris. In fact, the opposite is true, and we're living through this reality today as this administration has us facing multiple wars on multiple fronts in regions around the world and closer to the brink of nuclear war than we ever have been before. This is one of the main reasons why I'm committed to doing all that I can to send President Trump back to the White House where he can once again serve us as our commander in chief. Gabbard's focus on national defense and peace through strength coupled with her criticism of unnecessary foreign entanglements, aligns well with the broader public's desire for a robust yet cautious approach to international relations. Her praise for Trump's diplomacy-first strategy, which avoided initiating new wars, taps into the public's preference for a prudent, America-first foreign policy. Gabbard's recognition of Trump as a leader who prioritizes the safety and security of American citizens adds to her credibility. The notion of keeping us in his heart resonates deeply with conservative values, portraying Trump as a compassionate leader committed to the nation's well-being. Gabbard's decision to back Trump can be seen as a bold, personal stance that transcends party lines, reflecting her belief in doing what's right for the country rather than following the Democratic Party's orthodoxy. Her shift from Democrat to Trump supporter, symbolizes a sincere commitment to her values, even when it goes against the grain. She acknowledges the gravity of such a decision, highlighting Trump's understanding of the profound consequences leadership choices have on human lives. Trump's first-term efforts to avoid new conflicts and prioritize diplomacy are viewed as consistent with a commitment to preserving lives and reducing unnecessary suffering. Gabbard's remarks echo the deep anxiety many Americans feel about the current global situation, where fears of war and nuclear conflict loom large. Her support for Trump is rooted in the belief that he offers a more stable and less perilous path, resonating with the human instinct to seek safety and avoid threats. Psychologically, Gabbard's message provides a sense of hope and relief, especially for those weary of constant conflict and eager for leaders who prioritize peace. Her emphasis on Trump's diplomatic efforts and his avoidance of new wars appeals to those concerned about the direction of both the United States and the world. 